everybody, English Garden TV, this is our second edition and we're going to talk about our current song Make Love Take a Stand. What you just heard is the basic chord structure of the song and I want to show you how we came up with this and we, that's me and my colleague and partner Lendi, who's right now behind the camera because we're acting in a bit of a low budget still. And so we want to show you how he came up with the original idea for the song, which I kind of modified a little bit into what you just heard. So I'm going to give the guitar to Lenny. I'll give you the and camera. And hopefully it works. Yeah, he's there. Okay. So I'll Please. show you uh, the original idea of the song. Thanks very much. So uh, while we're on the subject or while you're with the guitar, maybe we can also take a look at the second part, the verse part of the song. So yes. if you want to play that, please. Yeah, I'll try. Okay, so we've heard the second part or the verse part of the song and the bass here, maybe we can talk a little bit about this too because I was kind of searching for something to add to what I got from Lendy and where I kind of uh, created the arrangement around and it just happened that I was watching a documentation about the first John Lennon Plastic Owner Band record. And in this documentation they showed uh, somebody was playing the multi-tracks and soloing uh, the instruments and there happened to be a bass part played by Klaus Forman, who was on that record with together with Ringo Starr. And it has some chords in it. It's a simple part but it had chords and the engineer uh, he was kind of choking, saying, oh, Klaus, chords, nice. And somehow that triggered the idea for this. And it's a totally different song. I don't even remember what song it was, to be honest. It just triggered this little thing, which is nothing but... So also, because I'm not really a bass player, I thought it was nice, it was kind of a spontaneous thing and it seemed to work in the song. So that's it, thanks. <laughs> 